Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a voiceover recording and add audio to some footage. So I have some random B-roll clips on the timeline here, so I want to do a voiceover on these clips. So first of all, some of these clips had audio on them. I'm just going to go ahead and mute that track. I don't know if you'll want to save your audio and insert your voiceover in between parts or put it right on top for some ambient noise. But in this case, I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to mute it. And we're going to be working on this audio track too. If you don't have this audio track or another audio track, just right click and select add track. And you should get an extra audio track. So you just don't want to be recording over some stuff that you want. So I'm going to work on audio track two here. And before we begin, typically you'll just see a few buttons like mute solo track and some keyframe options but we want to get the voiceover recording button to be here so you can right click on your audio track and click customize and you'll get some button editors here and the one that you want to drag on is this voiceover record so just kind of drag that on there just like a web browser kind of just put that button on there and press ok so now we have that button and a few more things before you can begin is making sure you have your proper microphone selected. So I'm using a USB mic. You might just be using your built-in computer mic, but you want to go to Premiere Pro, select Preferences, and head over to Audio Hardware. Here you could select the default input. So if you're not seeing your USB mic that's plugged in, you could make sure it's set here or whatever mic you want to use. So I'm using the Samson Go mic, just a simple USB mic. Also, you want to head over to audio, and one thing I like to do is select mute input during timeline recording. That just makes it so you don't get that feedback from the voice that you're recording playing in real time as you're recording it. I mean, you could also just turn the volume on your computer all the way down, but that's what I like to do. I actually just do both, so I like to mute that because I don't want to hear it while I'm recording in real time. So press OK once you have all that set up and now you want to head over to the audio tab so I'll select audio and under the audio track mixer you want to make sure that the R for enable recording is turned on for the track you want to record onto. so for me that's audio too so I want to turn that R button on so once I have R turned on and all my microphone inputs selected what you want to do is drag your timeline to where you want to start recording and let's right click on our settings again so let's go to voiceover record settings so in this menu you'll be able to see a live tracking of how your voice sounds so you can make sure it's not too loud or clipping and there's also a few things you can adjust so make sure your mic is selected and then you could choose whether you want a countdown or a pre-roll so I like to do a pre-roll of three seconds I don't like to do a post roll that will begin playing the clip one or two seconds in before the recording starts. Um, if you like to work that way, you can use it, but I'll just do a pre-roll of three seconds and I don't want a sound cue either. And those are the settings I'm gonna use. You could use whatever you want. You could use no pre-roll. So I'll show you what that looks like. So once I click on my voiceover record button, it's gonna give me that pre-roll that I set. And now I'm recording. So check out this lovely B-roll footage from one of my last vlogs. You should definitely check it out. Then you hit the space bar when you're done and you'll see that the clip will automatically generate in the timeline as you selected. Another way that you can record without clicking this button is just click the red button here to record and press space. It'll automatically start recording, but there's no pre-roll options or custom settings that way, but you could use that button as well. From here, you can take your audio clip, uh, mix it into the track that you want or keep it apart, but that's how you record a simple voiceover in Adobe Premiere Pro. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to create a voiceover in Premiere and figured out where some of the buttons and custom settings are. If you did enjoy it, definitely leave a like below and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.